modern buyers are becoming more and more dismissive of station wagons, aka estate cars. In my opinion though, such consumer choices are totally unjustified, since these vehicles are perfectly balanced for confident grown-ups who know what they need from a car. Boundless interior room for passengers and a gigantic boot. If you agree with me, I invite you to explore the newest and refreshed station wagons of 2023. They become even more handsome and technological. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and let's start the engines. Mercedes AMG C43 Formatic Estate The entry-level AMG version of the fifth-generation C-Class rocks a distinctive look with an AMG-specific radiator grille, sporty air intakes, chrome trim, and new wheels from 18 to 20 inches. On the drivetrain front, the new C43 wagon abandons its previous twin-turbo V6 engine in favor of a four-pot. This 2-liter turbo uses a 48-volt electric gas exhaust turbocharger originally developed for the Formula 1 cars. As a result, it returns 408 horses and 369 pound-feet. The system ensures livelier driving dynamics and fast response across a broad rough range. Plus, it is aided by a belt-driven starter generator that can provide a short power boost of 14 HP. The engine is paired with a 9-speed AMG gearbox and a rear-biased all-wheel drive that sends 69% of torque to the rear axle. Of course, the C-Class gets a sportier suspension with a standard AMG ride control and adaptive damping. There is a new exhaust and AMG brakes with 14.6 and 12.6-inch discs. On the inside, the car features leather-wrapped sports seats, a performance steering wheel and an updated infotainment with a 19.9-inch screen. BMW 3 Series Touring The 3 Series has always been the benchmark vehicle within the compact executive car segment, and recently, one of those few BMW models still carrying the conservative styling. The mid-cycle refresh for the 7th generation G21 brings slightly slimmer headlights with the inverted L-shaped DRLs. Traditionally, adaptive optics is optional and gets blue accents. The 3 Series Touring can be had in 10 different powertrain configurations, coupled with an 8-speed Steptronic automatic transmission. All gasoline and diesel engines were hybridized with a 48-volt system. There are three plug-in hybrid options and both rear and X-Drive all-wheel drive models. More changes have taken place inside the cabin, where Germans have introduced the next-generation iDrive 8 infotainment with a 14.9-inch touch and a 12.3-inch driver's display. This family wagon can be as humble as to cover 0 to 60 in 8.8 seconds, but trims with the M badging will do it in a sports car fashion as fast as 4.6. Porsche to take on Sport Turismo Following the playbook of the Panamera, Porsche additionally expands the Taycan's lineup beyond the four-door Grand Coupe and the SUV-like Cross Turismo model. The Sport Turismo is a traditional performance-oriented station wagon with a lowered clearance and an adequate boot with nearly 16 cubic feet or 446 liters capacity. Eventually, the model is expected to be offered in five grades, crowned with the Turbo S model. The 800-volt architecture can have either a 79.2 or a long-range 93.4 kWh battery, ranging between 224 and 268 miles. As a true Porsche, the Taycan Sport Turismo makes 408 to 761 horsepower and can do 0 to 60 as fast as 2.8 seconds. The Grand Touring level underpinnings feature adaptive air suspension with Porsche Active Suspension Management dynamic chassis control and smart lift. Same goes for the interior that boasts 14 to 18-way power adjustable seats, 
advanced cockpit with four screens, voice pilots, and sustainable materials for the interior. I will not get tired of asking you to smash the like button. A simple step from you, but a boundless gratitude on our end. Thanks a bunch, and let's proceed. Subaru Outback We all know that a Subaru-style facelift is likely to be rather short on upgrades. But nonetheless, let's explore the fan-favorite Outback station wagon and all of its minor changes of 2023. Every trim except the recently introduced Wilderness Edition gets a more assertive, high-contrast front fascia with a larger grille, new bumper, and redesigned LED head and fog lamps. To further highlight the adventurous spirit of the Outback, redesigned plastic cladding is wrapping the new wheels. There are no revisions to the engine depot, so the 2.5-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder with 182 horsepower is the base engine, and the 2.4-liter turbo with 260 HP is reserved for the upper trims. The linear Tronic CVT and the signature symmetrical all-wheel drive are here to stay as well. The eyesight driver assist technology makes one more step in its evolution process, adding a new wide-angle mono camera to improve peripheral detection. The overall interior finish remains unchanged, but we do welcome a new LCD rear-view mirror and an 11.6-inch Starlink infotainment with wireless Apple and Android connectivity. Volvo V60 Cross Country The ruggedized version of Volvo's smaller station wagon remains an international family hauler with some attractive SUV flair. This year, the V60 gets new bumper designs, loses its exposed exhaust pipes, and offers increased ground clearance of 8.3 inches. As before, the Cross Country has a slightly darker look with black body cladding and a unique grille. Depending on the market, you can choose between a B4 diesel and a B5 gasoline, both mild hybrid, or there is a 2-liter turbo codenamed T5. The latter is the only engine option available in North America. It is good for 250 horses, 258 pound-feet, 31 highway MPG, and 2,000 pounds of maximum towing. It is also capable of propelling the cross-country to 60 in 6.4 seconds. On the inside, the 2023 wagon continues to offer nearly 23 cubic feet of cargo room, standard linear limewood interior trim, and comes with an all-new Android-based infotainment featuring a 9-inch display. Audi RS4 Avant Audi's Extreme Wagon has become even more performance-ready with the now-available limited-edition competition packages. Already fitted with a pronounced body kit, the RS4 Avant Competition offers new black trimmings, sport exhaust system, and optional 20-inch diamond-cut lightweight alloy wheels. Those who do not want to stop here can opt for a pricier Competition Plus package that adds a fully adjustable coilover suspension system. In its sportiest setup, the wagon rides 20mm slower than the regular model. It also adds dynamic steering program, reworked transmission software, ceramic brakes, and Audi's Quattro Sport differential. Regardless of the chosen spec level, the Avant is powered by a twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6, good for 450 horses and 442 pound-feet. Opel Astra Sports Tour The new L generation of the Opel Astra adopts the PSA underpinnings and offers two body styles, a five-door hatchback and a wagon named Sports Tour. The latter is over 182 inches long. It is shorter than the previous generation model, but the wheelbase is considerably longer, namely 107.5 inches. As a result, this Astra offers more interior room for its five passengers, and up to 57.7 cubic feet of cargo room. From the outside, the model features Opel's usual visor face, 
Intelli locks LED pixel lights and an available two-tone finish. The engine's portfolio consists of a 1.2-liter three-cylinder turbo with 110 horses and a six-speed manual. There is also a plug-in hybrid version based on a 1.6-liter four-cylinder. The setup returns 180 horses and 266 pound-feet and features a 12.5 kWh battery with 38 miles of range. The cabin gets in-house developed front seats, 40-20-40 folding rear seats, and an Intelli space loading floor with three positions. There is also a digital driver's cluster labeled Pure Panel and a 10-inch infotainment with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Audi A6 Avant e-tron Basically a spin-off of the previously revealed A6 e-tron Sportback, the Avant is launched as a close-to-production concept that will go on sale in 2024. The new e-tron gets a closed-off grille, sharp headlights with matrix technology, and seamless bodywork with 0.24 drag coefficient. The roof grows longer, the rear houses a spoiler and diffusers, wheels measure 22 inches, while the tail lamps feature all-LED tech with a custom light signature. Of course, the new A6 builds over the Audi Porsche 800V premium electric platform. Modular in nature, it supports various motor configurations, but here we should expect a dual-motor setup with the all-wheel drive. It will be paired with a 100kWh battery, supplying enough juice for the maximum output of 469 horses, 590 pound-feet, and 435 WLTP miles of range. The interior design of this estate is yet to be shown, but we do hope that it will take a technological leap forward compared to the current e-tron models. Do you agree that these days, station wagons are awfully underappreciated? Let's discuss which model from these newcomers is your top pick. Stay the course and keep liking our videos. We will never forget the support. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News if you haven't already and ring the bell to get notified about the next episode. As always, may the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!